Michaels now moving on to Heretia de Sivilla. Only half a length between the pair at the final flight. They are clear of Hoganville and Hatton's Gardens. Racing into the final half furlong of the journey. Piaf Bubbles under a fine ride here from jockey Nathan Moscrop is two lengths away from Heretia de Sivilla. And it's going to be another landmark winner. This time it's Nathan Moscrop's 100th career success. It's Piaf Bubbles who goes on to win. A final flight of hurdles Barrowdale to the near side Silver Tan scrapping away your own story is grabbing the hill behind and trying to stay on here's the final flight of hurdles Barrowdale over in front to Silver Town. your own story's got two lengths to find in third they go inside the final furlong Barrowdale between horses Silver Town. your own story not done without in the center continues to stay on they go inside the final half furlong Silver Town up front over on the far side your own story then Barrowdale and coming home from nowhere Burrow seven they Race up towards the line. It's a victory for your own story who outstays them up the hill. Thanks, Kevin, where the runners are making their way down for the Bell Fishmongers Handicap Hurdles over three miles, one furlong, so not far down, just past the, the enclosures. Two to one favourites, PF Bubbles for Rebecca Menzies and Nathan Muscrop. Knights and Vienna is four to one. Sattler's Bay nine to two with Shantou Moon, 17 to two in bigger prices. The rest, the favourite, he'd be dropped in early. If he settles, he gets a gallop to run at and not in front too soon. He's, he's, he's awkward. But I think his mark of 108 is fine. Yeah, I agree. He's, he's also with a bit of talent as he's, as he's at his level, really. He's ex Tom Lace. He joined Rebecca Menzi at the start of the season. He was a winner on his penultimate start at Weatherby. They've stepped up to three miles that day, won by a couple of lengths. And then last time out at Hexham, he, he looked all over the winner, went to the front, got idled out in front, and he got caught close home. But he's still relatively unexposed over three miles. He's got course experience around here. He didn't run badly over two miles behind Springwell Bay back in the autumn. Nathan Moscrop, I believe, is a 100th career success when he won on Weatherby. Gets on well with him, and better for, for no one. So he's got 12 stone. He's your favourite. Nice and Venice is... He was behind him in that Weatherby run middle of January, middle of February he was sort of stepping in the right direction placed up at air. Yeah, that, that was, um, he's got well, he's got 50 lengths to find with Piaf Bubbles on the meeting at Weatherby, but he made a big step forward at air next time out, that was over three miles as well, that form's worked out really well, he's been seven and a half lengths, but Apple away, who won it, Lucinda Russell has come out and won a listed race, and jet legs of Martin Todd Hunters, he's won twice, so that form looks very good. Okay Let's see if he can build an area, he'd definitely be a player uh, for Don Williams and Henry Brook. Um, champion jockey Brian Hughes been booked for Sadler's Bay for Tom Gretton Yard. Yeah, he's had five tries over hurdles. Placed twice at Exeter last season. And his best run so far this year was last time out at Market Race. And that was in handicap over two and a half. He was well held in the end, beaten 17 lengths. But the winner of Ollie Murphy's Palondo looked well handicapped at the time. So a slight drop in grade probably for him. And he's up in trip as well. We'll see how he gets on over three miles. He's never been beyond two and a half. Shantou Moon is, is fairly unexposed still that he's really staying trips. Yeah, he got um, plenty of experience in Irish points for Tom Keating. He is a uh, well, won one from seven over hurdles so far. He's up six pounds for that victory. And last time out, he was fourth at air, beating just under seven lengths, having won at Kelso the time before. Daughter of Golden Horn to Kathy Stars. Subject to a, a tack adjustment down at the start for Ewan Williams and Peter Kavanagh claiming five. Yeah, she's back to a, a suitable mark. She's down to 83, having won off 86 in the past. Uh, I thought the return to three miles would probably suit her. She's been running largely over two and a half during the winter. So back to three miles, a trip she won over at Perth back in the autumn. Gypsy Secret, another mare, daughter of Dylan Thomas. But well held. Well, pulled up two starts ago and well held last time out. Yard did a winner at Kelso yesterday. Yeah, Yard had a winner at Kelso. They had a winner at Hexham the week before as well. So they're going well, but she's had the five tries over hurdles. She's looked fairly limited. Best run so far would have been just before the turn of the year at Kelso. Finished third behind two progressive novices, uh, Le 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 Legislator and Imperial Merlin. And Pistol, uh, out of the weights, trained locally. He's been to Carlisle more times than you. He's just a little bit reluctant to line up. Yeah, she should know better, shouldn't he? 29th visit to Carlisle. He's won three. He's been eight. He's been placed on eight occasions, but he hasn't won for over five years now. Hopefully, he can send to, to jump off with them. 
eight runners are walking forward. Let's get up to Darren in case he doesn't. So, yeah, so um, Pistol was just a, a bit of a playful mood there, and uh, Piaf bubbles away from the others at the moment. So there you are, trying to organise themselves. Star Russ Garrett is on the rostrum. Michael Reed, the other starter, just running towards the field now. Trying to encourage Pistol, trying to assist John Dixon there. Pistol's won three times around this uh, inner hurdles course, the 14-year-old. So about to line up this staying race of the hurdles, but Pistol, he's been here, done it, bought the T-shirt. He's in a bit of a playful mood there in the yellow jacket. Flag's gone up. So they're making a line. So it is Don Brock of the grey there alongside uh, Gypsy Secrets in the green and yellow as they walk towards the start. They start this race at the foot of the hill. So over two circuits to cover. This pistol now joins in. And they're off for the Bell's Fishmongers Handicap Hurdle Race. And it's Gypsy's Secret along with the grey Don Brocco and the yellow jacketed veteran Pistol. They are the leading three as they make the run to the first of 12 hurdles. Knights in Venice is just in behind the leaders so with... Uh, to the outside, Shantu Moon in the blue and green. Top Cappy Star is wide as Duvall, nose banded in the blue and white. Saddler's Bay is under cover in the blue and yellow. Uh, Piaf Bubbles is at the back as they now draw towards the second. Pistol has moved into the lead. So coming up towards the stance with two circuits to go. Pistol is racing wide of Gypsy's Secret and Don Brocco with Knights in Venice following. Then comes Shantu Moon with Saddler's Bay, Top Cappy Star following. And last of all is Piaf Bubbles, Nathan Mosscrop. Uh, settling Piaf Bubbles right at the back end of the field. Long way to go, though. Don Brocco and the Gypsy Secret now lead them into the turn. Pistol is still there to the outside of them. Then Knights in Venice, Shantu Moon, followed by Saddler's Bay, Top Cappy Star and Piaf Bubbles. And now they start the run down the side of the track. Going down the hill with Gypsy's Secret... A little bit keen. Steve Mulqueen looking for a double. He's aboard Gypsy Secret. Don Brocco and Ed Austin on the inside of Pistol and John Dixon in the yellow jacket. The uh, next set of black colours, that's Knights in Venice, followed by Shantu Moon. The blue and yellow quarters of Saddler's Bay, followed by Top Cappy Star. And the last of all is Piaf Bubbles. And uh, they make this long approach to the third, but they're almost there. And it is Gypsy Secret, Don Brocco, with the pistol still wide of them. Knights in Venice and Henry Brook is following the lead as they jump that hurdle. Don Brocco and Gypsy Secret are slightly coming together on landing. Going now into the bend to go down the far side to hurdles four and five. Gypsy Secret and Don Brocco are the front two from Pistol. And then comes the Knights in Venice just off them as they leave the ground there. Shantu Moon, Saddler's Bay are following. Top Cappy Star is second last. And Piaf Bubbles would be around about eight or nine lengths off the pace. Going on towards the final hurdle down the far side. So this is Gypsy, Secret, Don Brocco, and uh, Pistol. And those three are in front of Knights in Venice. Leaving the back straight with Shantu Moon, the Kelso scorer, Harry Reed's mount just behind them. And uh, then comes Saddler's Bay with Brian Hughes aboard Saddler's Bay. That one in sixth position on the downhill run. Seventh top Cappy star and eighth and last is Piaf Bubbles. So making the run now to the turn into the straight and approaching the sixth hurdle. Over a circuit still to go, and it is Gypsy's Secret, who's zero from five over hurdles, has the lead. Gypsy's Secret by about three parts of a length to Don Brocco and Pistol running together. Knights in Venice just off those, then Shantu Moon followed by Saddler's Bay. Another one is looking to get off the mark today. Top Cappy Star and Piaf Bubbles are following, and this is the first of the two hurdles in the straight. Pistol really 
just uh, booted into that one by John Dixon. He's just uh, starting to uh, just nudge a little bit at on Pistol to the outside in the yellow colours. So it's Gypsy, Secret Don, Brocco, Pistol. Knights in Venice just in behind the leaders as they jump the last hurdle on this circuit. Still a circuit to go. Uh, Shantou Moon in mid-division, followed by Sadler's Bay. And uh, then top Capistan, Piaf Bubbles. Piaf Bubbles comes here in form, and his second last time, and won the time before at Weatherby. So one more lap in front of them. So it is Gypsy Secret, the leader, leads by a neck to Don Brocco as they pass the judge. Three wide pistol with John Dixon pushing away. Shantou Moon between horses. Knights in Venice going the shortest way, trapped by Sadler's Bay, top Capistar, and Piaf Bubbles. And those two then occupying the last two spots as they start the run down the side of the track. So Gypsy Secret, been a little bit keen in this race, leads by about three quarters of a length to Don Brocco with Pistol and Shantou Moon still racing uh, handily on this downhill run to the eighth. Knights in Venice is following the lead as a horse who was in good form roughly this time last year. Top Cappy Star still racing wide of Sadler's Bay. And Piaf Bubbles is still giving them start, uh, giving a, a nice patient ride by Nathan Mosscrop at the back end of the field. So this well-bunched lineup going towards the next hurdle. They've got five to jump, and it's Gypsy Seeker and Dom Brocco. Gypsy Seeker in the green and yellow jacket just fiddling away over that hurdle. Pistol pushed along. Knights in Venice, the inside side of Shantou Moon as they take the turn, then Sadler's Bay and Piaf Bubbles followed by Top Cappy Star who now uh, finds himself in last place finds himself last as they jump the first over on the back which is a four from home uh, and it is Don Brocco and Gypsy Secret from Shantou Moon, Knights in Venice, Pistol still being a road along uh, and then come Piaf Bubbles and Sadler's Bay Top Cappy Star and they jump in the last hurdle over on the far side, that was three out, Gypsy Secret and and Don Brocco still share the work, being tracked by Knights in Venice and Shantou Moon. The confidently ridden Piaf Bubbles and Sadler's Bay, they're running together from Top Cappy Star, and the old boy Pistol now drops to last place. John Dixon certainly worked hard on Pistol, making the run down the hill. Just two to jump, and it's still Gypsy Secret. Gypsy Secret by no more than the length of Knights in Venice, Shantou Moon, Don Brocco under a ride to the running rail. Brian Hughes looking for a way through on Sadler's Bay. Piaf Bubbles coming there for Nathan Mosscrop. And on the wide outside, Top Cappy Star now stepping forward. They make the run up the hill. Shantou Moon and Knights in Venice from Piaf Bubbles. Then Top Cappy Star. Sadler's Bay is just behind the leaders. And that was the second last. Sadler's Bay uh, will produce a poor jump. They're on the run down towards the last hurdle. And now it is Knights in Venice. Shantou Moon, Piaf Bubbles. And over towards the far side is Top Cappy Star. That was the last. Knights in Venice and Shantou Moon now duel for the lead but Top Cappy Star is still running on from Piaf Bubbles and then further back to Gypsy Secret Sadler's Bay didn't pick up but it's Knights in Venice, Top Cappy Star coming home really well on the far side, Top Cappy Star claims the advantage now from Knights in Venice and Top Cappy Star is in control, Top Cappy Star goes on to win and wins going away from Knights in Venice, Piaf Bubbles Shantou Moon, Sadler's Bay and Gypsy Secret, they're clear of Don Brocco and Pistol Trainer Ewan Willens beats his uncle Donald Willens in second place with P.F. Bubbles back in third. Daughter of Golden Horn home in front under a cute little ride from Peter Cavanagh claiming five. Yeah, Peter Cavanagh amongst the winners yesterday and he's got the best out of this mare who was back up in trip today. She'd won over three miles back in the autumn at Perth but she's been racing over two and a half miles since so back up in distance today. She stayed on, stayed on strongly to get the better of Knights in Venice who's had every chance. He came here on the back of that good run at air last time out behind Apple away. He have bubbles back in third. He's just not the easiest, is he? No, he, he, he travels strongly. He looked a big danger, didn't he, going to the second last? But once he came off the bridle, he knew mm. it was going to be difficult for, for Nathan Mosscroft. He's done his best to try and get the horse into contention, but you just get the impression he's not he's not putting his best foot forward. He's golden horn, so I know it's a low level, but I think he'll, he'll do well as a jump star, Stallion. Yeah, well, he's certainly he put plenty of stamina into his pedigree, won't he? You know, mile and a half, mile and a quarter horse, so... He's done the job with this mare, who, as I say, I think returned back up in trips certainly suited her. Plus, she had no weight as well. I mean, she'd only got 10 stone, 3 minus Peter Cavanagh's £5. And 9 stone, 12 on her back. Good performance for fifth race of the afternoon.